all right my people welcome back onto this channel well this is another one reaching us obasanjo beat me in his house because i said afoja would not lead us in the party says abayomi arabambi all right my people the news in details well, in an interview with AIT, the Factional National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Abayomi Arabambi, said that former President Ulushegun Obasanjo assaulted him in his office after telling him and then Pahayo Adebanjo that Afoja would not be their party's leader. He acknowledged that the Labour Party's issue arose as a result of Lawa Fomilola's revelation that Julius Abure had falsified document. Well, Arabambi added that they told Peter Obi and then other well-known party figures, but they advised him to wait until Obi won the election before the problem would be resolved. In his words, I quote, I have here a letter written by Lawal Fomilola, Director of the Commissioner of the Oath Department for the Registrar. This was what caused the crisis in the Labour Party. Some of our candidates were changed without our knowledge. He now presented an affidavit to Heineck and then Heineck changed their name. We wrote and then the court, I repeat, Lawal, Formulola Director Commissioner of the Oath Department, Abure was involved in forgery and then the court wrote back to us the certificate true copy that, that the document was forged. We invited Obi and then he said we should leave Abure. Yes, he said we should leave Abure and then we should allow him to win. Obasanjo knew all of them. Baba Debanjo, all of them knew. I got to say the truth here now. In fact, it is part of why Obasanjo beat me in his house because I told them that Afoja would not lead us in the party. But he said we should allow Obi to win first. We said no, we will not allow him to win. Well, and exactly what is actually reaching us. Well, onto this one, Obasanjo had no been dragged by Abayomi Arabambi, according to what Abayomi Arabambi made clear, that he made it clear that Afoja would not lead the party. All right, and uh, that's exactly what we are actually getting right now. Hmm. Well, somebody's of the opinion that how true is this? Another one is like, yes, Nigeria on their own part, that is exactly what they are used to. That's so serious. Well, look, areas they are made clear, Yorubas, and then forged certificates. So the only school they went to is Oluwole, university most of them in civil service actually forged their certificates so what do you expect hmm according to Olaji, they made it clear that well obj beat you nigerian politicians can say anything shameless all right that is somebody's like we don't even believe you why would you say somebody like obj will beat a big man like you how possible well hmm imagine the charcoal cutting kettle black bunch of criminals in labor party that's so serious solomon Olawure. now that the man has openly alleged that obj and obi directly encouraged fraud and then forgery it is a lie to obedient hmm. we're not they will see nothing wrong with it as long as saint obi is seen to have encouraged it or fail to oppose it as his self-acclaimed integrity ought to do the right thing but no now they see no evil in what they do okay all right say so they see no evil in what they do but hmm, one thing they should understand 
is that huh, there is God, oh, hmm, hypocrisy everywhere. Well, Vivian replies says, well, both you and the OBJ destroy this country together. Please, old fools allow Nigerian to have peace. Oh, okay. Well, somebody has made it clear that hmm, as far as this is concerned, then my brother, let me tell you the truth. You deserve more beating. Yes. That the truth must be told that you deserve more beating than what you have been given. Because we don't understand what you people are even dragging. Well, why are you guys still addressing these Arabambis as a factional when Supreme Court judgment have declared the authentic leadership? Well, that's another one. Well, that's what you get from Jeun. Jeun, Jun, okay, Jeun, journalist. Well, no, that has been the problem of Nigeria leaders concealing the truth and then yet we claim to be religious. Hmm. Guys, calm down and then be intelligent. Mr. President recently hired more PR experts than economic advisors and then you are all surprised on the recent forging attack on the opposition. Hmm. People have to and they are pay. Hmm, that's another one. Well, and uh, you wanted after collecting money from Tinubu. I hope this hardship is okay for you. Okay, that's another one. Hmm. Well, the truth of the matter is you are a shameless ego. Well, my brother, my sister, we are getting a lot of things happening. Well, we have said this thanks to that number. See, eh? as far as Nigerian politics is concerned, hmm, everybody should be expected you know, to see ups and downs that's exactly what it is you can they can nobody can be you know can be trustworthy as far as nigerian politics is concerned well don't know about other politics but in nigeria we have made it they have we have they have made us understand that politics is a dirty game yeah so nobody will come out to tell you how it actually happened nobody is ready to tell you the truth all we always get is you no know, frustration lies upon lies right now a lot of people are now no are now shining their eyes. Everybody has now no gotten the fact that as far as no leadership is concerned in the country, most of the people that are in the position of leadership, they all forced resort. But that's exactly what you no know, is causing trouble in the country. When somebody who is not competent to be at a position will rule. What do you expect? Because I am very sure that if you, know, you are competent to rule a particular position, definitely you will do the right thing. And exactly why our problem has not yet stopped. As, in, as a Nigerian, as Nigerians, we will continue to suffer this until we get everything straight, until we are able to come out and uh, you know, tell ourselves the truth. That's the only way out. Or else, my brother, my sister, a lot of things will keep going wrong. Our prayer is that the good Lord will continue to arrest every enemy of our souls and keep pushing them into, into shame. Because they cannot continue to you know, be destroying innocent souls. This is very wrong. Who are we to, to trust? That's exactly what it is right now. Who are we to trust? Everybody is just working and fighting for his own pocket. And exactly what we have seen so far until this. Well, majority of things are actually being said. My people, what more can we say? Meanwhile, let me have your own take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. If you're just joining us on this channel for the first time. All right. Thanks and God bless.